Hey everybody, it's Christopher Travels, homesteading with Kelly. How you doing? We're doing great. We hope you're doing great. We have gotten a little bit of more progress, a little bit of more, a little bit more progress. <laughs> and I've been working, so I haven't really been here um, to do anything with Kelly. So. I was gonna show you what we did today. Um, I put up more paneling and I'll show you. The only paneling I don't have up is that right there. And those panels are right there. But, excuse me, it's 11 at night and I'm tired. Uh, we painted, it's a one coat so far. And this is called Neon Celery. And Kelly had that paint color in her mom's kitchen, I guess. And she loved the color and we found it at Ace Hardware. They were able to tint the paint I got from Home Depot. And, yep. So, I see this paneling. It's been very humid. It's been rainy and everything. It expanded and rippled a little. I did not have enough nails when I put it on. So, it went ahead and rippled on me. But... What can you do? So we're probably gonna put a uh, drywall over this maybe in a couple years, a few years, and just get our use out of this. So I put up all these today and I made sure to put lots of panel nails in it. <laughs> so I'm hoping it doesn't ripple like the others because I didn't really take it seriously. So when you put up paneling, don't just put it up and think, oh, I'll get to it. Because see the ripple down there? You know, just don't just tack it up. Make sure to put it up properly <laughs> the first time because if it gets at all humid, this stuff is going to buckle on you. And uh, I should have tacked it down properly the first time so that's a learning lesson but anyway that is our paint and we're also going to be painting this and we decided we wanted to go with a cream color and like a cream white color instead of a bright white because I think it will be a lot better than bright white Especially with all the colors that we have going on uh, with the wood texture and uh, Kelly, she did the gingham uh, curtains and uh, they look amazing. She does amazing. Um, we brought over this cabinet recently and that was nice because we just made room in the kitchen for now the kitchen that's over in the barn we made room because we ran out of butane so we decided to use a propane stove or stove top a two burner a camp stove in there so we had to make room for it so we had to take that out of there and put like a table so that's what we're doing for now just a short little update on our paint and our paneling going up hopefully tomorrow I will get the rest of the paneling done <clears throat> I'll go ahead and show you that when I get that done I can't wait to get it up and start painting and get this table out of here because I've been using this to cut cut the paneling and you know clearing all this up putting up the uh 
what is that called? <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. Uh, the insulation in the roof. I want to get that up there so it can get out of the corner. And yeah, I don't know. I have this bed I got from my sister. It's a really, it's like a really expensive bed that I cut to fit. And uh, I don't want to part with it because it's such an expensive good bed. So. I don't know. I might try to find a place, maybe wrap it up, try to put it in Frankie, maybe. If you guys don't know who Frankie is, because you're new to the channel, Frankie is my camper <clears throat> that I took out on the road a few years ago. I That's why I was Christopher Travels, because I had my camper Frankie and I was traveling and... I came to this homestead and now I'm homesteading so I don't know when I'm going to change that but if you're new and you haven't subscribed you should subscribe if you like this type of thing uh, the homesteading thing or if you're you've been watching me for a while and you're not subscribed you should subscribe because you keep coming back and watching so <laughs> uh, anyway uh, I can put it in Frankie that mattress and just store it there for now so anyway that's a little update and i hope you guys are having a great uh week and that it goes super fast i'm so glad i have at least one more day off before i go back to work um and well i just was off today and i'm off tomorrow and then i go back to work the next day <laughs> I'm just blabbing. I'm tired. Anyway, thank you for being with us on this journey. Live life to the fullest. There's a lot more coming. Not just build, but like when we get chickens and all the other stuff, if you're interested in that, we're, it's all new to us. So it'll be, if it's new to you, it's new to us. And, uh, we're going to be taking you along, so you should come along with us. I'm almost to 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. It's been like, how many years? I don't know, but 2,000 seems like a lot. Let's try to get over that if we can. So, thank you so much. Uh, if you have any questions, put them down below, and we'll see you soon. Bye!